Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule the Waves as the United States. Part 4 of this big battle, and I'm, I was looking at it, trying to do a little bit of forecasting here. We might even end up with a part 5, but I think someone commented that this is the biggest battle they've seen from like my my series on Rule the Waves. I'm sure it's not the biggest ever fought in Rule the Waves, um, among, even among some of our other big... Uh, big rule of waves players out there but yeah, it's a pretty big battle and it could end up uh, fizzling out at the end here I mean it's still already been a lot of fun but it could end up I mean it could just end quickly if we decide to pull back now the big news is our Cunningham class destroyer division is closing in on the two prime targets, the Camberdown and the Howe. If we are, by some miracle, able to put a few torpedoes into either of these, uh, if by some miracle we're able to put more than a few torpedoes, if we're able to just sink them almost immediately, we are going to be in great shape. Now, another comment, I think from Blinson, or maybe it was Battle Group Gamer, I sometimes get the two confused, <laughs> um, was a lot of the ships we already have sinking, if they were already down, we'd find ourselves like way ahead. And it'd be nice if those ships were down just because we do have sporadic fire at these sinking ships, which I, I would prefer not to have. But I mean, it, it's, the statement is true. From a strategic vantage point, from a strategic point standpoint, we're, we're just infinitely ahead. I mean, we're infinitely ahead, literally, because we haven't lost a ship yet, but hyperbole aside, we're, we're, we're really far ahead in terms of strategic points, even if we lose a couple of ships, because we're sinking a lot of these low tonnage, uh, I mean, they're like strategic dreadnoughts at this point, because they didn't scrap them. Anyway, let's uh, advance at least one minute, hopefully, my god, indefatigable, let's hit, and that's actually a nice hit. She's got a few more coming at her. Um, this is the important one. Yes, yes, this is the important one. Unfortunately, uh, Perkins is already feeling the pain exactly as I expected of coming up against... Uh, out of mark. So we need to probably move into not line ahead formation. We probably should just go line abreast. I, I want to do this to just get everyone moving this way, get them out of the way. So does Lexington still have her rudder jammed? Yes, starboard, so she's going to spin back this way. Providence does not have hers. She's got a turret destroyed. I mean, who are you targeting? Camera down. Okay, good. Because I was about to say you should be targeting the camera down, but you are. I think the How Division... Is there a camber down specifically? There's not. Yeah, so you're doing the right thing. I'm not going to mess with you. Saint jo let's take a look at all the different things that happen in this. Okay, so good news. Oh, the Perkins is launching torpedoes like crazy. Oh, that's wonderful. All right, Perkins. I'm already stamping the papers. I'm already mailing the, the medals. <laughs> you guys are doing fantastic, and this is exactly what I was hoping from you. I mean, no matter what, you're just lobbing it into the mess of British ships, and that's what I love. That's what I, I really, truly desire for my destroyers. So the Bulwark class, this is uh, literally a sinking ship. The Potent Terrapin, as somebody pointed out, this means the uh, Powerful Turtle. So we can guess what this name is supposed to be a reference to. <laughs> uh, oh, another one. So these two are just plain sinking. Now, I'd like the Benny classes, not just for Rage Quit, uh, forgot the whole name, but something about Rage Quit, for his sake, I'd like to get close enough, oh god, St. Joseph Hole and the Pass Through, this is from the How. yeah, the How 15 inch guns, the camera down even worse, 16 inch guns, but luckily, I don't see her connecting, Okay, so indefatigable. I'm never going to be able to say that right. Well, eventually. Just got to train the tongue. Okay, 5-inch... Ah, okay, at least we got one 15-inch hit on the camera down. 
This is the scariest ship out of all the ones I'm seeing here. Gosh, these torpedoes are just going everywhere. Um, the how, I mean, it has more, two more guns, but there are 15 inch, so the damage is slightly less. Okay, so the potent terrapin, we need to somehow tell you not to target the wrong ship. Manually targeting. Okay, good. That's probably going to do it. That should secure us the, the guarantee that she's not going to fire at the wrong targets anymore. All right. St. Joseph, let's... Oh, no, that's not the St. Joseph. <laughs> These are perfectly placed light cruisers to do some pretty heavy damage to these Kales, which are already taking a fair amount of fire. Actually, <laughs> we have hits on all three. Heavy damage, heavy damage, heavy damage. Um, one of the people, I think, was it Kurt? I can't remember who it was, um, was saying that you can keep destroyers suppressed. I don't understand that statement. I, I'm not even sure if it's true. I mean, it's true in real life. If you're being shot at, you're gonna have to evasive maneuvers. It's a lot easier, a lot more difficult to aim something when there's shells blown up all around you. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> not that I've been in that situation. But it seems like a, it's plausible. Nonetheless, I don't know if that's modeled in the game. Alright, so let's Go ahead and do another minute advancement. Oh my gosh. Oh, it was be oh my, oh my goodness. 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 <laughs> and just like that, we see why you shouldn't go broadside to broadside with a uh, destroyer division. These guys, I'm getting them out. These guys are already heroes in my book. And we can see the Cunningham class. <laughs> fantastic ship. <laughs> a fantastic ship. Get her out of here. Um, we're going to have um, the Lexington actually, unless her rudder was repaired, it wasn't. She's going to continue spinning to the right, so I'm actually going to get her to move north now. Because just assuming that she regains control of her rudder somewhere in the middle of this minute the next minute. She's going to move a little bit westward and means getting her away from these guys, it's better for her not to spin back to the east. So we'll just get her north out of the way. St. Joseph, okay, so let's look whatever, what else is happening. Okay, the potent terrapin, despite I gave it exact direct orders, like what in God's name is going on here with this group? Maybe they just can't target it? Should I choose another target? It seems like it's, okay, let's just force this again. Hopefully they eventually, main target, my god. Ah, I can do it this way. Let's do it manually. There might be a reason why they're not firing at the how that's like beyond me, but I don't know. God lord, that's a lot of torpedoes just everywhere. Okay, so let's look what else happened. Okay, the kale, at least one of these kales is hopefully going down. That's three more six inch guns. Two more on this other kale. That's both of those fantastic reports to get. The Europa, kind of a weakly. Oh no, this, no, the Europa is the one of the strong ones with the indefatigable. Europa is the, the other high queen of the seas, I'd say. Um, yeah, we're able to round her out round her up pretty easily. We have the Lexington taking another hit. This is technically a collision course, but eh, I mean, they, I've never seen a collision between two friendly ships, so I guess it's just not modeled uh, into the game. The McDonough, Mc, McDonough. <laughs> it's a Benny class. We'll keep her just going right through the mess of it then. Just charge. Hopefully she's targeting, if she can, any of the other destroyers, just to keep them, I mean, suppressed if that's the thing, or just getting any hits. Maybe that one lucky hit destroys their uh, torpedo um, launchers. Oh, the Cunningham is taking a few hits here. She's also launching more torpedoes. Good gracious. Uh, yeah. And you know what? We, we This is what we want. What, what are these torpedoes good for at this point? And cover your ears. I have no idea how loud this will be. Pretty loud. 
but worthwhile, I think. <laughs> and if we can, I actually want to aim at the how with the Perkins. She might not even have any torpedoes left. She doesn't. <laughs> By some miracle, <laughs> she's actually launched all of her torpedoes. <laughs> I mean, on this side, she has two more, but um, those are the the port side. That's amazing. And I look, I think the Cunningham actually is, yeah, it's exactly the same boat. Holy good lord almighty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yikes. That, I'm, look at, I'm, if I'm the camera down, I'm, I'm jumping off that boat. I'm using that boat as cover. <laughs> I'm jumping away from the explosions, away from the Cunningham, into the water, down here. And I'm hoping that, basically, I survive the shockwave, the explosions. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that that is just a brutal mess to be caught up in. And these guys are not holding torpedoes, but God, they have so many torpedoes. So we have an inconstant, which is pretty much dead. Which way is she firing, though? Yeah, she is aiming at those light cruisers, I think. It could be. Uh, okay, so Cunningham's Perkins took another hit. Sacramento did take a hit from the Indefatigable. It's looking like... I mean, what the hell is she even hitting us with? She has no guns left. I guess a few of the secondaries. Pretty cool to see that they're aiming. Those torpedoes looking really good, by the way. Another hit on the Europa. We are tracking her down. And this is the great thing. We have our battle cruisers who have been kept pretty safe from any harm. They probably have max speed available to them. It looks like they do. So we can actually send these guys around and uh, track down any of the survivors. I mean, this is... Wonderful. We got our dreadnoughts to do the heavy hitting. Well, we got our dreadnoughts and some battle cruisers <laughs> to do the heavy hitting. And we actually still have four pretty reasonable, and I mean, pretty in pretty good shape. <laughs> some four uh, moderately well off battle cruisers to chase down any of the survivors. So this might be just an epic victory. I don't know if there's anything else we can do here. I, I just really want to pull away. Are we... Yeah, we should be laying smoke now. And you guys, let's lay smoke as well. I think we're just going to lay smoke and... Uh, I mean, there are still other ships in the water. I just don't care as much about these. This one I care about. Oh boy. So let's actually aim at this one. Why do you say no targets? Confusing. They don't have targets. Can you not? Huh. I don't know. I guess I'll just. One of these battle cruisers is the lead. I think. And one of the ones up here. Yeah, she already has that option selected. I was going to say let's enable the fleet engagement so that these light cruisers also feel more welcome to use their torpedoes. Okay, I don't think there's anything else we can do. We wait. St. Joseph is hitting this Mars class, and this one is not sinking yet. It looks like we destroyed a turret. Okay, um, let's go ahead and advance another minute. I think everyone, there's no other place I want to be looking than to see this just massive barrage of torpedoes. I'd even want this one not to have launched her torpedoes. Like, where are she launching? Because the bulwark's going east. Anyway, let's watch this carnage happen. Oh my god. Two more hits on the camera down. Oh my god, it's brutal. It's so brutal. And this spread is not done yet. <laughs> We're going to have to watch out for our own ships, but could find its way into some of the other ones. Uh, the all ones now launching torpedoes. What in good God's name angle is this? How did this even happen? Oh man, they're just everywhere. Torpedoes are everywhere, everywhere. All right, let's see what's going on. How finally the potent Terrabin has engaged the target we asked her to. And we might even get lucky with a torpedo hit here. No, not likely. I think she's going to step out of the way. But um, the illustrious also hit by the potent Terrapin. Interesting with her six inch guns. She already has a two, I mean, she's been the 
Oh, this one's already sinking. <laughs> the potent terrapin's like, I will fire some of my guns at a non-sinking ship, but you can't stop me from firing my secondaries at one. Uh, this Kale class got obliterated. She's just, I mean, I'm assuming three knots. Uh, she's not technically sinking yet, but I think that we'll see that next turn. This one, Kale, got another hit as well. Suppressed, at least, and probably just out of action. Another Mars getting hit. This one is uh, apparently available, I mean, for action. And the Benny, or one of the Bennies. The Barry, technically, one of the Bennies, though. Did some a good number on the Us class here. That's nice to see. I was talking about that with somebody. How I like to have, I would like to see the results of these um, Bennies. So, Arcadia, where are you? Oh, this is my lone... Oh my god, she's getting a little too close to the action, but my lone uh, light cruiser down here is doing her job targeting a destroyer. St. Joseph's still taking some hits. Get on out of there. McDonough taking some hits, but this is the Benny class, so <laughs> we're going to let her keep taking hits, absorbing as much as possible, pretty much. And she doesn't have any torpedoes left now. And do you guys? No. Good. Saves me the hassle of having to, you know, line up a shot. Okay, good. I li I just skipped through a whole bunch here, but bulwark, 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 who cares? The camber down, being hit by two 15-inch shells, you know, honestly, is not even that important. Why do I say that? Because <laughs> I think she's sinking. Five torpedo hits. Oh, good God. Okay, so let's move another minute. Let me just make any kind of corrections that we might want. Don't move back down, Providence. What are you doing? Just stay here and cover. How about you? Can you launch torpedoes yet? No, so bizarre. How bizarre. Do, 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 do. Uh, Europa is taking some medium damage. We're turning, we're kind of turning down towards her. And yeah, I think these guys are still doing the best, I mean, exactly what I would want from them, so. What about you guys? Can you launch torpedoes? Because you're also pretty close to people. So the immediate answer is kind of a yes. Let's launch at the how. Huh. No. No real. What about the Camberton? No. The Mars? <laughs> One of the Mars, I should say. It doesn't look like there's any available. No solution out of our... Yeah, no, okay. We'll go another minute here. Did the how get hit? Oh god. No, potent terrapin. Oh my goodness. Well, pull her off. Tennessee step up. Sadly, the, the way to port is west. I think we're going to be better off pulling her south still. And Bainbridge, I don't want to do this, but I think... Yeah, actually, you Bainbridge, even though you're Benny and I'd like you to go in, I really would like you to go, to go in, but... Is this my... Here, what are you guys? New Havens. Okay, you guys are going to peel back and you're going to screen for the potent terrapin. The t Bainbridge is going to do it for a small amount of time, but it's ultimately going to be your job to see her to home to port. Uh, still a lot of torpedoes coming. I mean, it could have been our own torpedo that hit the potent terrapin. I don't think so because I don't see any torpedoes over here, but it certainly could be a torpedo hit on <laughs> one of our destroyers. It's pretty hard to get hit by a destroyer, but I mean, to, to hit a destroyer. Yeah, all these fish in the water. None of them struck the how, who's still plodding along, as dangerous as they come. Okay, let's see what other what other things happen. The camera down, which is... Surprised she even has a chance at prayer at this point. Camera down hit uh, just once, really, I'm going to say. Arcadia is now launching. That's... Quite a good call, defensively. 
Uh, Cunningham taking another hit. Lexington, unfortunately, taking a hit. She's the one still spinning in circles. Uh, Got to control that. And then McDonough is taking more hits. Juet near miss. Mars class is the last bastion was hit. Oh, that looks pretty good. Kale, just flaming wreck, I'd imagine. Yep, there it is. Let's focus our fire on the next Kale, please. Okay, good. That's what I want. And are you guys still unable to launch torpedoes at the how? Six, oh, oh, uh, six torpedoes means that they launched all the ones on this side. Well, that was kind of foolish. But the Chickamauga is pretty far away. I doubt she has a firing solution. Huh. I don't think that that's where the house is going to go. But you know what? It's not a bad trajectory anyway. The camera didn't might, might go that way. So yeah, you know what? Go ahead and fire that. Whew. Our rear firing from the St. Joseph. Looking good. Actually, she's, I mean, taking, she's taking 20 heavy hits, but otherwise she looks okay. Wish I could say the same thing for the Lexington. Lady Lex might be, I don't know if we'll be able to save her. Providence is pretty good except for the fact that she has one turret destroyed and one other disabled, so she just doesn't offer much in terms of firepower right now. So in that sense, it's better to pull her off the line. Oh man, it's just crazy. I mean, you forget also about all these other ships over here, which, okay, there's nobody with torpedoes left here, so go ahead and head home, and yeah, we didn't get any hits on the Europa, no, okay, well, ooh, that looks good, let's try to keep an eye on the Howe and the Illustrious, no, oh, missed, any other torpedoes of interest, wait, which, Ah, uh, different one. One that's already sinking. So how's the potent terrapin looking? That's, I mean, that's a lot of flooding available. She has a turret disabled. Maybe that's also making her red bar fill. I mean, it looks like her bar's filling faster than it should be. Basically, the red bar here. Um, swarms of torpedoes coming in. My goodness, all over the place. Oh gosh, Lexington. Okay, so let's let's take it from the top. Kale being hit. Good, they changed their fire. Oh, that was uh, actually St. Joseph, not the light cruisers. A bulwark which is dying is hit by secondaries. Secondaries. 15 inch primaries on the Europa, which is good. Secondaries on the Sacramento. Arcadia, a near miss, but the Illustrious has diverted because of her uh, <laughs> torpedo launches, so that's good. Lexington, oh yeah, belt extended and a belt. Just, she's been brutalized. Who is that? That's the how. God, it had to be. No surprise there. We need to pull uh, a fleet in. Wait, you guys actually head this way if you can and we'll want you to deploy smoke. So yeah, you guys go this way as well. You guys bend around this way, I guess, because although the Chickamauga is <laughs> doesn't, probably doesn't want to go that way, we need to get over here and defend if we can. Ooh, are you on fire? No, but you're smoking. Uh, we need to defend the Lady Lex. So Bulwark, Sacramento, Lexington, Juet, and Lexington, oh, even more. Turret destroyed and disabled, oh god. Another hit on the Europa. The Freedom still plugging away at that at her target. The Barry hitting the Diusk a few more times. That's uh, really lovely to see. A few hits on this Bulwark, which is not sinking. Huh, okay. Yeah, Flash Bastion got in a good broadside. And we have another Kale class, which is probably going to be sinking. Uh, I got one hit on the How. Few more on the Mars, which is going down. Who's that? The Ohio? Ah. Oh, it, it was secondaries, so we can't control that. Tennessee hit the Howe. Oh, so we had some good damage on the Howe. Three more 14 inch guns, and I thought maybe somebody else did as well. No, I'm losing my mind. Oh, yeah, right here. 
So four fourteen inch hits on the how. She's a tough bird from the looks of it, but yeah, I mean torpedoes is the great equalizer, right? Hopefully we can just get somebody with some torpedoes in there. Uh, I could spin these light cruisers around, but now I mean the first thing we got to do is take care of business, which is saving the Lady Lex if we can. Okay. Okay, let's move forward another minute. Uh, first of all, let me just make sure things aren't... Yeah, you have used all your torpedoes, so just go home. And you have used your torpedo. No, you have two left. Which side? Are there sides? There's not sides. Okay, good. So you move this way. <laughs> you come with me. And probably we bend these guys back. What in God's name... That's horrifying. Oh my god, we're going to be hit by our own torpedoes. Oh my gosh. Well, this is actually <laughs> hilarious. Good, because we don't have to aim at her anymore. But after five torpedoes hit her, I wish I had been watching for that. So I apologize. But there she goes, up in a huge blaze of smoke. Gigantic explosion. If the five torpedoes don't do it, well, the Lady Lex has something to say for possibly one of her final actions of, well, of her service. She's not, she's not feeling very good. <laughs> uh, oh, got two other torpedoes that look like they're heading true. Uh, Arcadia, just keep rolling away. We can't spare anybody to save you. <laughs> Um, so now it's all about the how. Cunningham, go this way. Cut back. In fact, you only have two torpedoes, but I guess you right now you're saving the Providence. Yeah, just head north. And, oh god, if you guys have any torpedoes, please fire at the how. Ah, oh, yes, beautiful. That's beautiful. If it doesn't hit one thing, it'll hit another. I think, are these all just flaming wrecks? Yes. No. Yes. So only one of these Kale class ships is functional. That's good to see. In fact, let's make that our target. Uh, I think that one is sinking. So let's make the next one. Yes. That one's not sinking, so let's make that our new target. St. Joseph is still limping on out of here. Firing a full broadside, though. Boy, she's putting up a stiff resistance. Who is your target right now? You're firing at the bulwark. Well, you know what? Actually, that's not... Well... What does the bulwark bring to bear? 12-inch guns? I think we ought to be focusing on the how, just because she has 15-inch guns, and that's really what we will find deadly. Like, this bulwark class is already sinking. So I'm kind of... I'm thinking of this now as I've, the battle has shifted. I'm going to move all my ships east in an attempt to push the British west and out of here. I want to push them west so I can save my ships. We just have a lot of damaged ships up here. Down here. <laughs> all over the place. And I, I want to try to save them if I can. So let's see if that's possible. I didn't even take a look, but the camera took another hit. Not important. Rother took a hit. Eh, well, moot point. Lustrous took a hit from the Kiwana. Nice. Europa took one hit that matters. She's slowly being worked on. Or Tadia's taking a few hits. Yeah, I'm yeah, not surprised. We'll just deploy some smoke. See if that helps. Uh... St. Louis. I'm nervous about those. Uh, some of our Bennies are taking hits. And then the last Bastion worked on one of the Bulwarks. Two more on the Usk. That's good. Heavy damage. Kale. She's now sinking. Mars. Sinking. Usk. More damage. And the Mars, which is sinking, but... How did you manage to... How did you manage to... 
How did you manage to, t to prioritize somebody who's not the person I told you to target? Hmm. Okay, so we'll move this one back up there. Begin laying smoke. Charge. Oh, well, that's not good. Okay, so let's see what happens here. By the way, what the hell are you doing? Get everyone out of the way. St. Joseph, don't come back so much because we might need to do some torpedo dodging. God, the Chickamauga might just take it right on the chin. Okay, that means somehow these torpedoes were dodged. So the Mars class, which is already sinking, taking their hit. Okay, irrelevant. Let's look at what we've actually done. Uh, trip. It's <laughs> just unlucky. Just took a hit from the Europa. Arcadia's taking some hits. Providence. Well, they're not focusing on the Lexington as much. Yeah, shoot, I think this can be a five-parter. The bulwark. Oh, God, man, she's such in such bad shape. Kale. Just watching as a barrage of torpedoes goes by her. I don't think any of those are going to connect with the how, but it was a good attempt. Like, now would be a great time to launch more torpedoes, but I think we will spin around with these light cruisers because I think we've eliminated every single destroyer. Like, is this one still alive? Yes, but really not for long, because we're going to focus on her. I one of these. Yes. <laughs> her. It's the only one running, I think. Is there another ship in the smoke here? Nope. Okay, yeah, so there's only, I think, only one functional British destroyer down here. I mean, up here. There's a few more over here. This us class could be dangerous. We're not careful. The last bastion's actually almost reached the St. Joseph. That's kind of reassuring. Okay, so a hit on the how, which is good. Boy, she's still firing, though. Yeah, I hit the wrong one. Oh, good. The Chickamauga did start hitting this kale, which is good to see. So everyone has torpedoes left except, well, I guess only Cunningham and Perkins. Uh, I should say Cunningham and Perkins have launched all theirs on this side, and the Aelin and Juet have not. Huh. It's, God, it's not one of those tough decisions. Lady Lex, have you sorted out your damage yet? No. Nope. Yeah, okay, I think this is the right decision. Come back, save Lady Lex. This is this is rough. All right, here we go. I want to launch at the how. How do I do that? No. Okay. Just checking. Oh. What do you know? Yeah, we'll take that. So, it looks like a great shot. Woo. Providence was hit. Last Bastion was hit. Providence was hit. Oh, God. Indefatigable was hit. Is that the one that was already sinking. Yes, damn it. That means, yeah, the other one's still going on. Okay, well, at least it clears her out of the way. Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Get out of there. Let them retreat north. Okay, so the Providence, are you, do you have even a prayer? My God, seven sixteen. I don't know if I've ever seen that bad. <laughs> Ugh. 
That does not look good. That is a terrible angle. Ugh. I should have known better. Like any torpedoes fired north, are gonna, she's just going to collect them. How kind of dodged a bullet here, too. Let's look at what else is happening. So the Tennessee hit the Howe. Kale, the sinking one is being hit. That's fine. It's a... Oh, okay, the berry actually did some good work against the kale, which is not already sinking. Hitting a bulwark, which is sinking. That's secondaries, though. Rifleman. And Providence took two other hits just to add insult to injury. From the how, too, of all things. Uh, Lex got hit. St. Louis got hit. And then we're annihilating some Rother, which is already sinking. And a Europa class, which is not already sinking, but I think all these all these hits are probably slowly wearing her out. She probably has to move quickly, which isn't gonna help with reducing flooding. Yeah, so I'm pretty happy with the situation. Of, I think we're gonna end up losing. Man, I really hope not, but I think we we probably stand to lose two ships, two Yosemites, which I really don't want to lose any Yosemites. We've seen how amazing they are. They really perform well. But then, I mean, we are seeing that even the Philippines class still can punch with the best of them. So let me see what I can do here. Because um, I think the Aelin can actually launch at the How. She can. And this seems like, to me, an important decision. We have to take that, that chance. Okay, and then last bastion, just peel off. St. Joseph, peel off. We're just gonna peel east. Same thing with the potent terrapin. I don't know which one I got here. This is obviously the destroyer. And she's already doing smoke, but let's go down to cruise. How are you, by the way? Wait, I didn't do any of that. Well, I guess it doesn't matter, right? We Everybody's in range of everything. But now I can actually right click there. 116, so the potent terrapin's gonna survive. She looks like she's gonna be fine. Be nice to get the Tennessee into the action then. Um, from the standpoint that you guys are attacking the riflemen, I like you being around here, but. Okay, so I guess we go one other, one last final minute, and we call this Episode part four will close and part five awaits us. Oh, it's chaos. Oh my god, potent to. Uh, how the hell did she get hit by. Is her. Is she like. Like, what is going on with her um, not turning here? It does not say she lacks the ability to turn, but yet she has somehow lacked turning. I'm not sure if it would have helped avoid torpedoes, but well, it couldn't have hurt making yourself a narrow profile. We're gonna lose some ships. <laughs> it's pretty clear. We're gonna lose some ships. Is she on fire? No, just my red cursor. How's Providence doing? 716, my god. I don't want to look at that anymore. It's just depressing. <laughs> um, last Bastion seems like she's holding on. Oh, god, that's a lot of flooding. My god. St. Joseph's like our, our best performing ship right now. She's pretty badly damaged. Down to a squad max of 16. Uh, we're going to take some losses. Well, I think this is a good place to call it to a close. Ah, uh, this um, this one in particular, this part in particular, could have gone better. We definitely had some some rough patches with torpedoes. They're finally catching up with us. Yeah, it was pretty brutal to see the Providence get hit by two. Just get, I mean, seven sixteens. It makes the last Bastion situation look reasonable at 460, which is already horrendous. Like, this is 302. I mean, that's like kind of what I expect. 400 is horrendous. 700 is just, I don't think I've, 
I don't think I've seen a ship with that much flooding. Maybe. I can't remember. But I, I'm pretty darn sure that I haven't seen a ship survive with that much. So, it, you know, she's reduced to a max speed of 9, unfortunately. But I would say almost our best bet is to race her home. <laughs> so the, I don't think that flooding will be controlled. So. Okay, well, I guess let's do this one last look at all the different ships which are getting hit. Uh, Bulwark class, not sinking yet. Kale class, which is still alive. Europa, taking a few more hits, which is good. Plugging away. Rifleman from the Jouet. Dono, Chickamauga, Barry, Awulin. Lex. St. Louis took a few hits here. Yosemite, two more hits on the Europa, 15 inch hits. And the Bulwark, oh, okay, one hit on some Rother somewhere, which is already sinking, but. And two more hits on the Bulwark, which the St. Joseph has been working at dil diligently. So that's good to see. I don't know. Uh, it's really. I'm sure that we're going to win a victory because we just have done way too no way too much damage to not get a victory. But I mean, if you look at up here, I got probably have to be a little more careful with Okay, this one's sinking. This one's pretty much sinking, and then we have an illustrious a Mars a indefatigable and a Mars which is sinking. So, illustrious Mars indefat indefatigable so I guess it's like three on four. Uh, we have some slightly damaged ships, but theirs might be damaged as well. They look pretty healthy, all three of those, but I'm not really counting the Europa anymore. She still has, I mean, technically she has four turrets available to her and they are 16 inch guns, but well, two of them are disabled right now. She's been taking a lot of heavy fire. One of them is destroyed. I don't, I have a sense that she's taking a lot of damage. She probably won't be back in the fight. Hmm. Actually, the St. Louis launching torpedoes, that's kind of funny. Like, where, where could you possibly be launching torpedoes? Hmm. Well, oh boy. We'll see how things pan out in the next one. Until then, thanks for watching, and take care.